guys. It's John from JT Metal123 here. And, um, kind of just want to do like a little tribute video for, uh, some musicians and actors who have died here recently. In the past, probably the first two weeks of January. And maybe a week before New Year's. Or so. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm making this video especially for um, Lemmy Kilmeister from Motorhead. I'm also making this for David Bowie, who recently just passed away, Alan Rickman, Glenn Frey, and Tara Ray. Let's go ahead and talk about some of these people. Lemmy, what a great guy. You hear nothing but great things about him. Yes, he's been in Motorhead. Yes, he loves women. But most of all, he loved his son more than anything. He loved his son and he loved his music. And that was the only thing that he really cared about. And for that, we're going to miss you, Lemmy. And, um... It's sad to see Motorhead go. Honestly, it really, really is. So, I'm going to have a drink for you, buddy. I miss you. Second, we have David Bowie. Known for his acting skills and for his solo career throughout his whole life. I really didn't know much about David Bowie. I kind of really haven't discovered him too much until he finally passed away which is quite sad and um it's just one of those weird things you know um I just never really got into uh David Bowie I just I, I don't know I just never got uh never got into him but um I did know a few of his movies that I saw growing up and uh so, and uh, a buddy of my, Brandon, told me that he's got a new album out called uh, Black Star. And um, he told me some of the lyrics. You know, he kind of knew he was going to die. So I thought that, that was kind of interesting um, about that. So I went ahead and looked that up. And David Bowie was honestly a rock genius, music genius, whatever you want to call him. That's what he really was. So, rest in peace, David Bowie. I'll have a drink for you on this one. Third, and I forgot to mention him in the intro, but it's all right. Scott Whalen, or Wylan, however you say his name. Um, obviously, we know him from Stone Temple Pilots. And, um, we, uh, he was in another band, um, that he did pass away playing for, I, I don't know the name of them, but they're kind of a weird name band, but, um, he, uh, honestly, great voice, lots of talent, and honestly, he just couldn't give up the drugs, um, he just could not do it, <sighs> sorry. You know, because of that, we lost him. Once he passed away, his uh, wife um, wrote a letter saying, um, you know, don't acknowledge, you know, that, you know, drugs and all that stuff. And, you know, he shouldn't be publicized because of all of his drugs and stuff like that. But honestly, he was a music genius. And it's really sad to see him go. You know, I've, I've liked Stone Temple Pilots. I've never been a really big fan. But they do have a lot of good songs. And definitely recommend checking them out if you haven't. And, um, that's it for Scott, Scott Whalen. And, um, number four is uh, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman, as you know, is, um, I know him as Professor Snape. From uh, Harry Potter. I didn't know that he played many, many other roles. He played lots of roles. 
I honestly didn't know that. So, rest in peace, Alan Rickman. Uh, he he did a lot of great great movies, and um, he's gonna be missed. Definitely, especially in the Harry Potter series, he's gonna be missed. And uh, we're gonna talk about the Eagles, um, Glenn Frey. Um, this one kind of hit home for me a little bit. Um, I have a girlfriend. She's got um, rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, it affects her every day. And it's a really bad case. And uh, she was telling me about this. And I started reading up on it. Um, he ended up dying from complications of rheumatoid, or rheumatoid arthritis. And... Um, it kind of hit home for me once I heard about that. You know, it just goes to show me that life is very important. And it just goes to show that I don't take any day for advantage. And I honestly cherish every day I have with my girlfriend. Knowing that she suffers from this every day. And you never know what's going to happen. And Glenn Frey just kind of brought that to my attention. That I should take it more serious and uh, keep an eye on it. And, um, Glenn, we're going to miss you, buddy. Thank you for that wake up reminder, wake up call. Thank you. You deserve a drink on that one, man. And um, last but not least, we're going to talk about Tara Ray. Tara Ray, as you guys know, some of you probably don't know or probably don't even care, but uh, this one kind of hit home for me a little bit. Um, Tara Ray is uh, Wayne Static's uh, widow. Wayne Static was in a band called um, Static X. Also, um, he was in a band called, um, oh shit, I forgot his, uh, his solo band's name. I don't know, I can't think of it right now. I'm not in the mood of thinking. But, um, she was his widow. And uh, about this time last year, or last year around Christmas time, he ended up passing away, and he was so young. And uh, he just passed away from, uh, he just ended up, his heart ended up giving it out or some shit, or something happened. And it was sad, because I honestly love Static X. I really do. And, um, one of my favorite bands of all time. And uh, he took out a solo band and ended up playing Static X6. And, um, uh, it worked out great in his favor. But, um, he left behind his widow, Tara Ray. And, uh, she died of a uh, drug overdose, apparent suicide drug overdose. Which is kind of sad. Anybody to go out that way is, is really sad. But, that's okay. So, I just wanted to make a video. And, um, and just please pray for all of these people. Um, hopefully, nobody else ends up dying. And, um, hopefully people will stop dying. So, alright guys. Thank you for watching.